All right, hey everybody, we're going to start this video off a little differently, okay? And I'm going to start off with something horrible, just which is exactly how my entire year has been going, okay? With my luck and everything, the way things have been going, I'm going to be totally honest with you. I feel like one of those guys from the Pornhub videos labeled, uh, fucking titled, Broken Eggs, okay? Only at the end of this video, you're going to totally see and understand where I'm coming from when I tell you that I'm just left, you know I mean, red and blue now on top of that. So, yeah, with that said, um... So, yeah, uh, with everything that's been going on, I'm sure so many people have seen my truck has recently blown up. I'm um, having issue after issue. I'll be totally honest with you, I'm probably doing this video more for my sanity at this point. Just so that way I don't fucking go crazy. Um, but, yeah, I, I, I had a pretty eventful week, okay, to start this entire thing off. Um, with uh, As we go with this entire video, okay, uh, my luck lately. Um, I don't know if you guys know uh, George W. Hill Correctional Facility, okay? The reason why I bring that place up is that's where I spent 72 hours recently, okay? I'm on the highway. I'm coming down to South Philly, okay, to get a couple things taken care of in my Jeep. My goddamn Jeep gets waterlogged on Tuesday, okay? Sure enough, fucking boating day. And there's two other cars in front of me, and my luck, you know I mean? State Trooper comes up, runs both of it, all three of the tags and everything, comes back because I keep my vehicle in my girl's name because, you know what I mean? I'm a prick, and I don't know how to keep my shit together. Well, here, um, guy comes up, and he obviously asks me for my license and everything else. Okay, well, I give him all my information, and he turns around, and uh, brother's back. Here, he comes back up, and he throws handcuffs on me out of nowhere. Mind you, I'm, I'm in a fucking foot and a half of water right now trying to fix my truck, okay? I'm completely soaking wet, you know what I mean? I'm, I'm up to my knees, okay? Because, like I said, I'm skinny. I'm not that tall on top of that, so now I'm fucking freezing, okay? Everything's wet. And then this cop turns around, throws handcuffs on me. And uh, this is where it begins, okay? He tells me I have a, a, a bench warrant for uh, possession of uh, personal use of marijuana, okay? This consisted of me having a marijuana roach in my ashtray, okay, forever ago. And I got pulled over for a moving violation and they asked to search the vehicle. I told him, yeah, because I didn't think I had anything to worry about. Sure enough, I had a little dusty Dutch ashtray roach in there. That was probably in there for a month and a half, and no bullshit, there was no pot in there, okay? It was literally the end of the goddamn Dutch. You, I'm just, anybody else that smokes, you know exactly what I'm talking about, okay? So, anyway, it was in there forever, and they really charged me with, you know, personal possession for that little dusty fucking roach, okay? Well, <clears throat> with that said, here, they put out a court date and everything else. I got a whole bunch of other shit going on in my life, okay? My dad just died and everything else, okay? Not, not, not that that's funny, you know what I mean? I'm just dealing with so much shit, I'm overwhelmed, Okay? I, I, I literally had to move into another house. Like, I'm, I'm freaking the fuck out. I'm literally losing everything I got in, in, in certain situations, and I'm just trying to do everything I can to hold it together. And um, as, as this entire thing goes down, um, the cop, this is where it starts. He goes, starts putting handcuffs on me for the bench war and everything. Click, 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 click. And then I hear the cop, he starts laughing. I got my hands behind my back. I turn around. I was like, what the hell are you laughing about? I said, like, like, are you serious? I said, like, I'm, I'm, you're, you're taking my truck right now. I'm all pissed off and everything else. He goes... He's going to click, click. He goes, nah. He goes, I'm just going to be honest with you, buddy. He goes, that's the first time I had to click the handcuffs all the way around. This motherfucker's making a skinny joke. Okay, well, that's what I hope again. So here he goes and throws me in the back of the squad car. Now I'm freaking out. I'm having a panic attack and everything else. This is where, where the beginning panic attack starts. Um, I turn around. I'm about to start kicking his fucking window out, okay? I, I only have one mask card on my dad, okay? So the cop, I got to be honest, okay? The cop is cool as shit. The state trooper, okay? He did go over. He grabbed my mask card as soon as he, he seen I was freaking out. My dad's mask card. He gave me the mask card, okay? Now, help me through this entire situation. Yeah, I mean, I'll be totally honest with you. Um, <clears throat> but it, it, with my dad not being here, made situations a little differently, okay? Well, here, I get taken down to uh, George W. Hill Correctional Facility, okay? That is a privately owned prison, okay? I get arrested on election day, okay? So here... All the regular jail cells that you would normally get taken to and then process and release for something that I'm there for, okay, they're all closed. I get taken down to this facility, okay, this is a legitimate prison, okay, out in Media, Pennsylvania, Delaware County, okay, where they got nothing better to fucking do, okay, so, like, they're, they're just, it's overpacked with people, okay, my cell, when they stuck me in there, I was in there 14 other fucking people, okay. Oh my God, talk about a fucking experience, okay? Here goes my experience with me first getting arrested for the first time and getting put into an actual prison, okay? Man, man, boy, was it interesting, okay? This is where it's going to go, okay? So here, first off, I get in there, okay? And, and, and I'm doing the original thing, okay? I'm getting my phone calls and everything. I'm freaking the frig out and everything. I'm trying to call my mom. I'm calling my, my girl and everything. You know what I mean? I got my girl sitting there crying like I'm on fucking death row and everything. I'm trying to just keep my head, head above water and everything. So that way I don't start freaking the hell out. Because I got 14 other people looking at me in a goddamn cell. I'm like, yeah, babe. Babe, it's fine. 
It's fine. And she's screaming in the goddamn phone, don't let none of those fucking jerk-offs, blah, 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 fight with you, blah, blah, I'm like, Jesus Christ, like, relax, I'm fine, I'm fine, I'm fine, click, okay? Then I'm calling my mom, this is the difference between my mom and my dad, okay? I call my mom, freaking out, mom, get me out of here, okay? They're, they got me in jail right now and everything else, I'm not in a regular jail, I'm in a, like, a legitimate prison, you need to come down here now. Oh, I don't know what you want me to do, it's Tuesday, I don't get paid until Friday, so I can't help you till then. My heart's like this, okay? I'm the skinniest fucking guy in prison right now, okay? Like, I'm, I'm having a fucking panic attack. So, here, as they first bring me in, okay, I'm fucking soaking wet. My pants, my shoes, socks, and everything else, okay? They bring me in. They start processing me and everything else. They stick me in the cell with 14 other dudes. When they first stick me in the cell, okay, I walk in, okay? There's all these fucking dudes, okay? And the first thing said to me, one of the guys turns around. He looks at me. He goes, yo, buddy. He goes, I'm going to give you a heads up. He goes, none of us are trying to have any trouble, so I'll come in here with none of that hard ass shit, all right? I turn around, I figured, you know what I mean, I would try to lighten the mood, but, uh, you know what I mean, kind of, kind of still come off firm and everything, so that way, they, and they know, like, I'm, I'm, I mean, uh, I, I don't know, at least I was trying to put up the fact I can handle myself or anything else, but not compared to these fucking guys who are in there, well, here, we go in there and everything else, and the guy turns around, and he says that to me, I turn around to him, I said, well, I said, let's be honest, buddy, I said, as long as, as long as I, uh, as I walk out of here, uh, still a father too, with, uh, uh, with being a virgin, I'm all right. And uh, I said, none of you guys will have a problem, and we won't have a, rough, have a rough night. So here, I tried to throw that little thing in the end and try to come off still intimidating and everything else, but making a joke. Thank fucking God, one of the old heads in the background turns around, starts laughing and everything. He goes, don't worry, just come on in, you'll be fine and everything else. So he brushed it off and everything. Here I got, you know what I mean, everybody else started laughing because the old head started laughing. So here I was like, all right, cool, cool, this ain't going to be that bad. I didn't have to fight anybody in any situations like that and everything else. So here, as I'm in jail, okay, you guys know I'm doing my comedy thing. I'm trying to tell people my stories and everything else. I took this as my opportunity and it actually worked out to my fucking benefit, okay? I got a couple new fans, okay? I wouldn't exactly, uh, you know, brag about all these fans, but they're still good people. They were chilling and everything else. It wasn't like they were bad people. Some people were in there for, like, mediocre shit, just like I was. Well, as I'm in there, um, you know what I mean? I, I decided to take it as an opportunity and I started telling people my jokes and shit. And they started laughing because, especially with, with all the crazy stories about my dad... These are all people that are fucking incarcerated, so obviously they understand my dad's type of humor and everything else. So it worked out great, you know what I mean? I wound up making a couple friends in that first little holding cell. They decide they're going to process us and all, and now we're getting moved to B Block, okay? Now, I, I, I'm going to be honest with you. Before, before all this happened, I didn't even know what the fuck B Block meant, okay? They're talking about taking us into B Block. They bring us in there, okay? Now, they make me strip down, okay? Now, mind you, okay? I'm mortified. I'm still mortified to begin with, okay? Granted, the fact that these people are chilling with me and everything else, I'm mortified because I haven't fucking shit in a day and a half, okay? And I'm not... I, I, I can't bring myself. I can't... I, I, dude, dude, I'm literally quenching my ass trying to hold everything in, and, and, and I'm, I'm mortified. I, I can't let it out. I can't, I'm not doing this in front of 14 other fucking guys, and there's one single fucking toilet with no curtain or nothing. No, it's just not happening. Okay. Well, on top of that, okay, I'm not fucking eating anything. They're bringing in this disgusting fucking pig slop and everything else, okay? And I'm literally surviving off of fucking bread the three days I was there. 72 hours. 72 hours they had me held for, okay? I know that doesn't seem like a big deal to anybody else, but when it's your first time, okay, it's fucking scary, you know what I mean, when you go in there, and you're like, oh my god, like, this is the first time it's going on, but you still want to try to keep your composure and shit, because you don't even want anybody looking at you like you're weak and everything else, okay, well, that's hard to do when you're 110 fucking pounds, all right, well, here, I go in there, okay, I got lucky, the first group of guys like me and everything else, okay, we, we, they take us in the B block now, okay, they strip us completely down, you got to change your clothes and everything else, okay, they bring out this big fucking fat security guard, okay, I'm telling you, this dude looked like he was three people wide, okay, and, and his stomach was out here, and, and, and the only thought that kept going through my mind is how the hell this dude has his job, if a fucking riot breaks out, how is he chasing anybody, like, he can't, like, dude, he could barely w w put one foot in front of the other to begin with, just carrying this big ass dude's weight, okay, well, as soon as I get in the B block, I totally understand it's gonna be completely different, okay, they stick me in with all these other inmates and everything else, okay, reality hits in, the guy turns around, he goes, all right, get over there, strip down, he goes, lift your sack, I lift my sack. Okay. So I go over there. I, I do what he tells me to do and everything. This guy fucking shakes out my fucking, my shirt and everything. And he's like, what the fuck's that? Here, I got a goddamn biscuit in my goddamn pocket because I've been surviving off of bread for the past, uh, you know what I mean, day and a half in, in holding. So, because uh, I ain't eating the other shit because it's, I don't even know what's in it. So here, I'm, uh, he shakes my goddamn biscuit out. Now I'm upset because he just dropped my biscuit on the floor. I'm not picking it the fuck back up over that disgusting floor, okay? And I just had to show my dude, uh, this dude my sack. And uh, here, I, I mean, I bend down. And as soon as he goes and says, all right, lift your sack, the other inmate, I hear one of the other inmates scream down. He goes, 
Yeah, he needs to see your set because he ain't seen his own in fucking five years. They start cracking the jokes and everything else. They start ripping this dude apart. I'm like, oh, man, this is going to be a long fucking night, okay? Sure enough, I don't get put into any cell with any of the original 14 guys that I was in there and I was originally cool with, okay? They take me up into a cell now. They stick me with two two dudes, okay? One dude's, you know what I mean? He, he's like in his mid-30s, okay? And then there's this old head in there, all right? This guy had to be like fucking 60 years old. The 60-year-old black dude, okay? He's cool as shit. And then, you know what I mean? Well, he, he seemed cool as shit. And so I found out a couple other things about him. And then there's other dude up top and everything. He was in there for something mediocre, you know what I mean? Just like, you know, simple assault or something like that. Well, here, you know what I mean? I walk in the cell and the new guy and everything. So I sit down and everything. I'm all quiet. You know what I mean? I'm like, all right. You know what I mean? I'm sitting Indian style because they already got the two fucking bunks. So now I'm on this little bunk floor thing that they got this fucked up mattress. I'm sitting there. And, uh, you know what I mean? I, I, I'm turning around, and, uh, you know what I mean? Here here they bring in the, the, the food trays. I hear them knocking on the door and everything. You know what I mean? They're getting ready to bring around, the, uh, you know what I mean, dinner and everything else. All right? Now, I'm going to explain to you the dinner in prison, okay? So that way, if any of you are thinking about putting yourself in a situation, do yourself a favor. Don't. Okay? The reason why I say that, okay, is they slide me in here, okay? They start bringing the food and everything. I'm trying to make conversation because I got these two new guys and everything. I don't know anything about them at all. You know what I mean? I don't know if they're cool, if they're going to give me an issue and everything else. So I turned around to the fucking black guy. You know what I mean? He, and, and he was polite and everything. He didn't give me no issue or nothing like that. He was an older dude. And I turned around to the guy. And, uh, you know, they, they first, they, you know what I mean? They allow you to come down and you can get this fucking juice, okay? First off, it's not juice, okay? This shit tastes like recycled, like bath water and recycled piss, Okay, and they were trying to tell you it was juice, okay, and, and they, you come down, you get your little juice cup and everything else, and, and, and I took a sip of the stuff, as soon as I took a sip of the stuff, I felt like I was going to throw up, okay, and here I'm watching these other little guys, uh, these other dudes that are in there, okay, and they must have been in there for fucking weeks, okay, they're filling up their cups and everything, and then they're holding their goddamn cup and they're running back to the cell, like, mm, like they're all happy as shit, like, you the recycled piss juice and everything else, so I go back in my cell, I got my recycled piss juice and everything, I'm talking to the guy, I turn around, I was like, so, uh, what, are both you, what are both you guys in here for, anyway, if you don't mind me asking? And, uh, you know what I mean? Without missing a fucking beat, the black guy turns around real quick. He's fucking wired. He turns around. He says to me, he goes, he goes, oh, I, uh, he goes, oh, I shot four people. And I'm like, excuse me? He goes, yeah, I shot four people this weekend. And I'm like, I, 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 I was dumbfounded for a second. I fucking completely freeze and everything. I don't know exactly, I, I don't know how to respond to that and everything else. So, you know what I mean? And he's sitting there, and as he's sitting there, the guy's sitting there, he's rubbing his goddamn legs and all. He's like, yeah, I shot four people. Like, he said it like it was normal, and he just went back to the conversation and everything else. And he turns around, and uh, the other dude up top tells me about his assault problem and everything else. And the guy's sitting there rubbing his legs, and he turns around, he goes to me, he goes, uh, he goes, so uh, what are you in here for, little fella? He goes, what, 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 what they got you for? And uh, I, 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 I'm quiet for a minute, and, and, and I'm, trying to, I'm trying to process the information that I just received. And I turned around, I was like, uh, pot. And, and the, the guy on the top bunk, I hear him giggle a little bit. And then the dude in the bottom bunk, you know what I mean? The, 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 the other guy that shot four people turns around. He says to me, he goes, ah. And then he turns around and he keeps looking at the cell wall. And he just keeps going, I guess, yeah, I'm more of a meth guy myself. And it, 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 like, it, like it was normal. He goes, oh, yeah, I'm more of a meth guy myself. And I'm, I'm, now I'm, my fucking heart rate shaking and everything else, okay? Like, I'm just trying to get out of the conversation and all. I'm like, yeah, yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of, I kind of like to just kick back and relax, you know what I mean? I do it to chill with my depression and my anxiety and everything else. You know what I mean? To each his own and everything. Hey, you want to judge me because I smoke a little pot, you know what I mean? To each his own. Well, here, I, to, thank God, okay? I, I, I get a break, the conversation breaker, okay? Here, the, 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 the fucking security guards come around. They slide the food trays in and everything. They slide three trays in, one, two, three, okay? You know what I mean? Here, one dude in the top bunk jumps down and everything else. And uh, I get down, and I got this goddamn tray in front of me. And I'm, I'm, I'm conf now I'm confused. I'm confused. I turn around, and I bang on the door before the guy walks away. I was like, yo, And he's like, come here. I'm like, come here, come here, come here. I was like, yo, dude. I said, I don't mean to sound disrespect. What is that? And he goes, that's food. And, and, and he said, like, real jerk off. So now I'm pissed off. I turn around. I was like, no, no, no. I said, buddy. I said, what's this? Like, this, this thing here, this on the end, what's this? He goes, that's meat. I said, I, I said, meat? I said, that's a fucking fluid. How's that? How's that meat? Like, I was, yo, he's, uh, how's that meat? I said, how's that? That's a fucking fluid. I'm freaking out and everything else. Okay. 
So he slams the fucking door shut and everything else. I'm sitting down and I'm fucking confused and everything now. Okay, I've been surviving off the fucking bread. I ain't shitting in a fucking day and a half. Okay, now I'm talking about two new guys. Okay, one dude's a fucking meth head and shot four people in a fucking prior weekend. Okay, and he's just sitting there all fucking smiles like it. You know what I mean? He's he's just ready for the ride. You know what I mean? He he understands like it is what it is. He's just going and going and going. Okay, and the other dude's just trying to sleep at the fuck off the whole goddamn time we're in there. And and then. We get the food trays. I look down and I'm fucking confused because this dude's trying to tell me that this fluid at the end of my goddamn food tray is meat, okay? And uh, I turn around to the other guys and uh, I, I'm like, yo, I said, have you guys been eating this shit? And then the, 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 the guy that's sitting there looking at the wall, he stops and he freezes. And, and it's a long pause. And, and, and he's just... And I'm like, yo, when's this, what the fuck's going on? Like, are, are, are they fucking with me? Like, is this guy about to freak out or something? Like, do I got to bang on the door and answer the security guard? Here, this fucking guy turns around, okay? And he goes, oh, nah, man. He goes, I, I'm coming off a meth binge, man. I, I ain't eat nothing in three days. He goes, I ain't eat nothing since the weekend. And, and the guy from the top bunk jumps down. He's woofing this goddamn tray down. And he goes, yeah, man. He goes, it's, it's true. He goes, believe it or not. He goes, since he's been in here, I've been eating good. And he's whiffing this nasty shit down like like he's just happy as shit to fucking have his food. I guess he's been in there for longer than me. So he's whiffing this goddamn nasty tray down. And then the guy looks over at me and he goes, uh, he goes, so, uh, you, you gonna, you gonna eat your meat? I, I'm picking my fucking tray up. Wait, what the fuck? Am I hallucinating? Am I the only person that don't fucking see it? Where's, where's this fucking meat at? Like, I'm freaking out. It's like, yo, I'm, I'm, oh, where the fuck do you see meat at? Like, I'm freaking out, okay? Now, I hear one of the other guys from the fucking, uh, here, I'm freaking out because of the goddamn meat situation. I don't see any goddamn meat on the tray, and this dude just asked me to have my fucking meat now, okay? And I hear from the one of the other fucking cells out of nowhere, okay? I hear a guy scream out of one of the other cells. Um, because he, he hears me, I'm like, yeah, that ain't no fucking meat, I don't see no fucking meat, guy goes, you keep screaming, you're gonna see some meat, <laughs> now, now, now I realize I'm in fucking B-block, okay, it's kicking in, okay, this is reality, so now my fucking heart's racing and everything else, I'm having a fucking panic attack, okay, the fucking security guard sees I'm having a panic attack and everything else, I'm fucking shaking my head and everything else, I'm looking around like, Jesus Christ, what the fuck did I get myself into, okay, so now they think I'm suicidal, they come and get me, okay, and they rush me, they take me to a goddamn nurse and everything, and, and, and now, now that was a whole other experience, okay? Real nice, real nice, I gotta be honest, okay? Real nice black lady comes up and everything. She's real friendly and everything, okay? She was being as nice as she possibly could, considering the fact she was dealing with jerk-off inmates all day and everything else. She comes up to me and she turns around and she says to me, she goes, all right, she goes, they, they worried about you, so you're gonna talk to a counselor and everything. She goes, but I gotta give you the shot real quick. Excuse me? She goes, yeah, I gotta give you this tuberculosis shot real quick and everything else. She goes, it's mandatory when you come in here. And I'm like, yo, hun, I said, with all the respects, I said, I'm declining that shot. She goes, well, it's mandatory. I said, hun, I said, let them know right now. You ain't sticking me with no fucking needle. I said, I, I, I respect the fact that that's your job. I said, listen, I'm in here for a marijuana roach. I ain't going to be staying long, okay? I didn't check in check in for long here. And and she turns around. She goes, all right, I'll see what I can do. She turns around. She was cool. Thank God. So here, she walks away. I don't get stuck with the goddamn needle and everything. I get put back into my cell and everything else, okay? Now... I, I, I'm, I'm getting choked up because of this goddamn meth head that shot four people. I'm taking a sip of this nasty piss juice. And as I'm sitting there, okay, thank God they finally decide to process everybody and I get taken out, okay? I'm in there for my 72 hours. I serve my time and everything. I get put in front of a video judge. I do what I got to do and all. They take me down, okay? Now, as we're going down the steps and everything, all right, it, 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 get, it gets a little funnier, okay? As, as, as I'm going down the steps... They process us again, you know what I mean, to release us and all, we get our release forms and shit, okay? They go to hand everybody their stuff back, okay? Yo, three days before, 72 hours prior, okay, I was fucking up, up to my knees in a puddle trying to get my truck out of the goddamn water, okay? So when they hand me my shit back, okay, my shit is still soaking wet, it's completely wet because they stuck it in a plastic bag, they, you know what I mean? They don't give a fuck about drying your shit out, they don't give a fuck about you, okay? So they give me my bag back and everything, I'm like, oh, god damn it, man, I put my wet clothes back on and everything else, I'm getting released, I'm just happy as shit though, okay? And as I get released, okay, I put my clothes back on, my wet ass clothes, I come walking out, alright? And as I'm walking out here, uh, I'm walking like this because everything's soaking wet and it feels disgusting, man. And I just sat on a fucking floor for three goddamn days, okay? I'm walking out and I go p walk past the nurse's office and, and she hears the security guards come out and they start breaking balls and everything, you know what I mean? All the people getting released. And they turn around and they say to me, um, they go, they go, ah, oh, yeah, my bad, buddy. So, uh, you know what I mean? Soaking wet and everything else. You all right? And I turn around, you know what I mean? I freaking fuck it. I'm going to make a joke back. I turn around because I'm walking funny. I turn around and said, ah. Uh, 
yeah, I'm alright, but you might want to get a little extra security, extra security in that B block over there. Uh, you know what I mean? To make like a rape joke. Well, here, the fucking sec the, the goddamn security uh, nurse comes out. The same lady that was treating me, thinking that you know what I mean, she that I was suicidal and everything else. Man, this poor lady, she comes out. She heard the conversation and she sees me walking funny. She turns around, snaps her fingers at the security guards. She goes, see, y'all better knock that shit off. That's the third bloody hole this week. I told you all that shit was going on in there. Y'all need to be in there watching more. And she walks back into her thing. Dude, I never stood up so quick. I walked fucking completely normal. I was just happy as shit to get out of there. So after that, I was out, okay? So anyway, that's that, that's that's my story, okay? That's my first, you know what I mean, time actually getting put in legit prison and everything else. I hope you guys th think it was funny and everything else. And yo, 100%, every goddamn story, piece of that story is true. And, uh, you know what I mean, just for the record, too, in case you haven't noticed, I decided to wear the beater just to fit with this whole prison situation, okay? This was to, you know what I mean, once again, show the guys what they were dealing with, you know what I mean, when I walked in the goddamn room. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you again. Appreciate it. Bye.